What's going on, Cancer? And welcome to the Chariot and Friends. Justin here, and I hope you're feeling incredible today. So for those of you who are returning, welcome back, Soul Tribe. I appreciate your subscriptions, your likes and shares. Your support really is just amazing, Cancer. And it keeps us growing. And for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm happy how yourself has brought you here. We are in for an amazing journey. So the purpose of this channel, for those of you who have cancer in your placement, sun, moon, rising, wherever cancer, this one's for you. And a deuterra card spreads based off our ruler here, the good old moon. And I'll talk about what sign she's in, what phase she's in, and when she's going void, of course, just all of those lunar shenanigans. And just so you're all aware, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one. -one. So take what resonates with you, leave the rest with me, never force a reading on a situation, and everything will be dope, cancer. Now, let's jump into it. Your space has been cleansed. Crystals, feeling lovely. Just great energy all around here. Cancer, and of course it is cancer because the moon is in, in cancer. That's right, the moon is at home. She's chilling, she's re relaxing. And you may notice you feeling that energy as well, Cancer, because with the moon being in our sign, this is a, you know, you may notice that you want to just kind of stay kind of curled up at home, you know, maybe just kind of read a good book or, you know, uh, just, you know, just, just kind of stay comfy and cozy in, in, your, in your safe space there. But this is a great time for, you know, self-care, and oh interesting interesting this is a great time for self-care and just being amongst loved ones and anything along those lines cancer but also this is something where you know the moon is um, you know being an emotional emotional planet and us being an emotional sign where our intuition is going to be heightened cancer but also you know there's going to be heightened emotions as well you know just because with the moons being at home she's allowed to feel however she wants to feel and so it's just being having just like extra eyes on that cancer if you happen to notice that a certain emotion or anything happens to be settling in just just paying attention to that just because you know also Mars is in our sign right now so we just want to be aware of being reactive during this this time but also with all this intuitive energy it's a great time you know with the moon being in a waxing crescent phase as well this is a great time for building up your self-confidence you know setting that intention for whatever it is that you set out during this lunar cycle and really start building yourself up and thinking about you know how are we getting that that ball rolling you know getting that chariot moving so think about that cancer and then last couple things these readings that I do, they're not gender specific readings. So apply these energies to people as they make sense for your situations. And then the decks that I'm working with, I'll include links for them down in the description box below. So definitely check that out if you're interested there, Cancer. But Cancer, we got one of our cards, which is the fifth card of Cancer. But this is, um, this is the Urn card. And with the Urn card, this is a card of, uh, and not, uh, not, not Urn like you're earning money, Cancer. Urn like uh, for like ashes. But with the urn card, this is a card of loss, death, forfeiture, grief, closed up, bereaved, breakup, poverty, collapse, dispossess, remove, dismantle, deprive, absence, change of state, setback, it's over and done. Now, just just starting off, if we if we have um, experienced you know a loss or you know maybe or. Um, you know, or maybe we're, we're might be going through something because when we think about just thinking with the moon being at home and, you know, we deal with like uh, we live in the fourth house cancer and that deals with like ancestry, family, childhood, all of that. So, yeah, if, if we've been feeling something along those lines, you know, one sending is just just all the cancerian love that I can cancer. You know, you already you already know that. Um, hugs and love and just yeah just in love and light but um you know this is a this is a time for you know we even when we just think even think about loss just on um in any sense you know 
I feel like that when we when we think about that that absence, that space of you know whether this you know maybe a person leaving, you know maybe this could be a, a job situation, whatever. Even just like even just like you know the changing of cycles, cancer, just going through life. You know, it's like when we have absences or you know spaces that are made. It's like how do we fill those spaces back up? How do we keep from just thinking with that collapse? It's like how do we keep that foundation, that stability, when we go through times of loss or or grief or whatever that's looking like you know and that's these these are the questions that we because the, the thing with our sign cancer you know where we have to feel it all you know like that's the it's the you know we're the it's it's a you know with any sign you know it's like a double-edged sword but where yes feeling stuff like this, we might feel it more intense than others, but these experiences, all of this stuff, you know, and loss and however this may, whatever form this may take, it's meant to win-win that feeling, because here's the thing, you're not, when, if, when, you know, the situation of already in something, when this happens, it may seem like in that moment, Mike, it's like that it's not going to change, you know, that like that, like that's it. You know, we're just like stuck in this in this in this moment in time. But cancer, things are going to move forward. That's the and really amongst all the signs, you know, really, that's very relevant for us, you know, as far as like just, you know, because and this not to say that like we just get over things easy cancer, but it's just like we're constantly reminded that, you know, just like cycles are, it's, there's always going to be a beginning and an end, you know, it's just like, it's, 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 it's inevitable, but it's just like, how do we manage this stuff in that time? You know, how do we deal with the stuff? How to keep from being closed up and, and not staying stuck in the past? Cause that's something to cancer with our sign, because we're, our sign, you know, deals with ancestry and past stuff. We can stay rooted in past stuff here, you know, kind of focusing on the losses and the things as opposed to thinking about how do we grow from that? How do we feel in this space? So that's something we want to be mindful of as well, Cancer, just, you know, just when this energy comes up. So let's get some, but let's, let's see, let's get some tarot on this and see how we can work with this energy, Cancer. Cause it's hard, Cancer. Even even the the tougher the tougher emotions like this, you know, this is one where we may not want to deal with it. We may want to close up and and just shut ourselves off from the world. But that's not conducive to our, especially like that's not really conducive to anyone, Cancer. But especially to our sign, keeping those closing ourselves off from the emotions. It's take it from me. It's not. It's not going to. It it, it doesn't pay off in the long run. It's you know really, and I know it, it's easier said than done. But when situations like this happen, it's like being. I feel like presence. You know, being in the present moment is really a a, a big thing here. You know, be with all of that. Feel all of that because you are not any of those things that you'll be feeling that you're going while you're going through this, but we do have to process it and understand it. And so, yeah, don't, you know, try not to, to close yourself off too much cancer, but, you know, and, and feel it as it makes sense, you know, don't force the, you know, I'm not saying that you gotta like feel a, you know, be in this cancer. No, I would never say that cancer, but it is like just, try not don't don't close yourself off from it you know if we got to turn if we if we got to think of it like a faucet you know we may not you may not want it to be on full but don't shut it all the way up if we even just got like a little stream going cancer just so that some healing can come in let that water keep flowing let's 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 at least just do that much okay i hope that makes sense oh cancer <laughs> cuz then i tell you we it's Wheel of Fortune. Life is nothing but cycles. Even in this, even in the times of loss, and this could be death and literal death, or even just like meta, you know, like a spiritual, you know, even like coming to like a change into like a new, a new person, you know. But these situations here, they're they're meant to. 
they're not meant to just take from you because this is Jupiter's card, the Wheel of Fortune, this whatever, however the situation, however this translates, it's not just meant to take from you. It really is. It's provided you a spot to fill in with abundance. It provides you a space where it's like, okay, this has gone down in that cycle. What is next? You know, how, what, what do I, what, what do I, you know, what do I do from here? Those, those are the questions that Wheel of Fortune get us to ask ourselves. Where do we want to take this wheel? Where are we driving the wheel? The, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is just like, this gives us the wheel and to drive this vehicle. So it's just like, where do you want to go? Because we're in a change of state right now. You know, things are, things are things are closing you know we 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 were at an end here so it's just like and we have to move forward cancer however that looks but you know really and i and i listen like and it's not i'm not trying to say diminish this or anything along those lines but i just feel like that when we're in this thing just like i feel like a even when it's feeling so intense just knowing that that this is not forever it's not forever it's going to be, how, how long it's going to be, that I can't tell you, Cancer. You know, that's going to depend on each and every one of us. But we are going to move past. You know, we are going to grow because that's what Jupiter is all about, growth, abundance. And you know the lovely thing, Cancer, I love that this even came with this because Jupiter, Jupiter and I, or Jupiter and I, and all of us, Jupiter and I, Cancer, Cancer, Jupiter and Cancer has a great relationship, you know, um, Jupiter's exalted in our sign. And so this just that just goes to show me too that however this might translate cancer, Jupiter's got you back. You know, abundance is going to be in uh, We're going to you're going to get through this cancer. You you always do. You always do. All right. And, you know, if you do find yourself getting caught up in, you know, maybe a little stuck in the past, you know, just thinking about that. You know, it's it's OK to reminisce on these things, but it's just like it's meant to, you know, it's just like, what are you taking from that? Just like it's really. Um, yeah, you just don't want to stay stuck in that cancer. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Cancer. Oh, so, well, this is lovely, actually, because you got one uh, ruler here because the moon heard. The moon heard, and you know the moon's got your back. And then you got the ten of swords here, Cancer. And this is actually really lovely. Look how much support you have here. You have the moon and Jupiter. That's actually really beautiful because with the ten of swords, the Ten of Swords is this, this urn card. This can be, the Ten of Swords is like rock bottom. This is like you, this is just like raw. You know, just really when I think about this energy, it can be where it's just like, <laughs> like it, it's really a lot. You know, usually there's like in the traditional decks, there's like swords in, the, in your back. It's a whole thing. But you know, I do like this Ten of Swords though because it's i like that this there's a lot of symbolism going on here one when you think about just a matter of cycles these birds that are migrating for the for the winter you know like yeah we're in dark times right now let's go towards the light then let's start venturing towards towards that you know i i do like that that this is showing that it's like you know we're moving on it's just a matter it's we're, we're in a cycle right now how do we improve but also i like that they're in motion you know that they're, they're it's like the chariot you know where it may not be easy cancer it's not gonna you know it may not be easy but it's doing that motion it's it's taking those steps doing that motion and 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 being compassionate with yourself, but also I really feel like tuning in and <clears throat> how do I want to put this high priestess? I really just feel like that when we get to this place of if we're 
if we just been like, if we doubt that we're going to move on cancer, you know, I feel like with the high priest, and I think I'm going to get a clarifier on this, but it's just like, you know, being in a space, just like, I like how she's kind of chilling at this altar here. And I feel like that this is, you know, doing, find yourself in a space that, you know, that can give you, get yourself in a calm space so that you can process this and so that we can figure out how we can move on. But let me get a little bit more on the, on the high priestess there. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So Cancer, the High Priestess is clarified by the Two of Coins, the King of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. And you know what, Cancer? Okay, so dope. So that's this kind of what I was saying with this. You know, this is a time where, you know, while we're going through this thing, Cancer, it's going to take some work. This is Jupiter and Capricorn. It's going to take some work, but focusing on nurturing yourself, you know, getting yourself back into filling your life with love right now, doing some loving things for yourself. This is Mars and um, Mars and Pisces and just filling yourself, you know, filling your, your yourself with love, surrounding yourself with people that love you and and I in cancer. You know, as I, I know that right right now, you know, depending on how this may be translating, it may not make sense what's going on right now. But with the King of Swords, it will. You know, there's there's going to be wisdom that's coming from this. You know, we just got to figure out. We got to sit with this for a while. Figure out. You maybe take a lunar cycle or twelve, or maybe not twelve, but it might take a few lunar cycles to process to get to this King of Swords here. But just taking this time, just healing that, doing that emotional healing cancer, you know, getting your intuition back in line. Cause when we're stayed stuck in this place, it, it affects our, it affects our senses and all of that. But, you know, just with how, I mean, look at how the moon's taking care of you cancer, you know, 10 of cups too, like all day, you know, take care of yourself all day and things are going to start turning. You know, there's going to, your cups are going to get filled up again, Cancer. You know, there's, they may have been spilled all over the place for right now, but we can get that stuff back rolling again. All righty, Cancer. Let's get on to some challenges as if this isn't a tough, tough enough challenge as it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, challenge, Cancer. Absolutely. Eight of Swords all day, because you want to be careful about where we, where our heads at. You know, Eight of Swords is like a self-imposed prison, and if we stay trapped in our heads too long, Cancer, it's it's gonna just it's gonna diminish your growth over time. It's gonna keep you stuck in these cycles, and we don't want to be in that place. You know, we want to try to get to this place where we're growing. Because the nice thing about this, the the Ace of the Eight of Swords is. Where it is a self-imposed prison, the nice thing is you built it, Cancer, you know, so whatever this is, you know, you can, you can get telling yourself that you, cause like, I'm even thinking like, for example, like just saying that, like, I'll never get over this, you know, whatever this five of Cancer, this urn card is translating out to, that's an eight of swords. Cause we've all, we've kept our, we've locked ourselves in and that's not what we want to do. You know, it's just like where we acknowledge it. It's just like, yeah, I'm experiencing this and that, you know, X, Y, Z, but you know, I'm in then And it's just like, it's, it's acknowledging that. And then countering those swords with with a positive cancer you know whether that be affirmations whether that's doing loving things for yourself whether that's just like you know kind of staying and maybe we gotta whatever that's looking like you know but just try not to get where we're in a place of stuck where we're like caught in our head and that we're you know saying that we can't move on from this because that's how we stay caught up in a cycle so okay yeah that's yeah that's pretty straightforward there cancer yeah i feel like that's something to just something and listen i get i know that it's easier said than done and there are going to be days where sometimes we do get on our heads you know and that's not to be compassionate with yourself you know during times of loss and change and things like that when it feels just like things have just completely collapsed and it's just like we have no footing you know 
you always got the high priest, you do have footing right here, this emotional footing, this, this foundation that you have right here. This, this body is going to get through this thing, Cancer, whatever this situation is. Now let's get a little, I love that. You know, we're gonna have the high priestess chill up with moon, chill with herself. You know, let's get some, let's get some advice from the moon. I love it, Cancer. So you got the Three of Cups here, and then we got the World. And with this World card, you know, I, I like this. Because when you, this is probably, this is probably one of my favorite worlds, if not my, my favorite world. Because I just like that. Because with this, this can feel like, you know, when the world is like the end of the cycle. This is the last stop of the major arcana train before we start back over with the fool, before we start into that new cycle. So, but sometimes when we go, you know, the fool energy is not always, you know, bright. You know, for sometimes with the fool card, you know, there usually is like this bright, exciting, like leap into faith, you know, leap into this new thing. Sometimes fool energy is leaping into the dark. You know, it's, it's, um, and that's why I like this world card, because sometimes it's like it, it can feel like leaping in the dark. You know, it might feel lost, scared, uh, uh, sad, or whatever that that is. But the nice thing is you never know what you're going to discover. You know, like the, the, usually there's like with caves, there's just like untold wonders. And I just feel like with this, it's just like, don't be afraid of the darkness, Cancer. You know, don't let it don't let it hold you down, you know, or keep you in a like stag or you know, stagnate your growth. You know, sometimes we gotta we got to deal with that that shadow work in order for us to get to this ten of cups, to get to like our abundance wheel of fortune. And we just gotta be mindful of what we're telling ourselves. You know, with this three of cups, it's like staying in a in that in that positive mindset because this is Mercury and Cancer. And you know, we want to tell, like, be when we because when we think about Mercury, how we think, how we communicate, we want to tell ourselves, you know, feed our energy, we are feed, feed ourselves with that, that, that nurturing Cancerian energy. Like, I got this. Like, yes, this is going to be a tough one. You know, may not be, may not be the funnest of cycles, but man, when you do get through this, the healing that you're going to get, that's going to be done when you get through this cancer is going to be unreal. And then it'll come from a time of loss to a time of celebration. And you know, cancer, some things, you know, while we're going through this stuff, you know, doing little things, you know, I don't say like you got to throw like a party or anything, but like just while you're processing this, you know, working in some things, some some areas where you maybe just like a little bit of fun, you know, whether it's just like maybe it's meeting up with someone or how do I want to put this cancer? You know, I get where healing is going to look differently for everyone, you know, but I just feel like, you know, don't completely or try not to close yourself off from, you know, too much, you know, from joy while you're healing through this, because that's how we that's how we feel in that space, you know. We had a, I, I hope that makes sense, Cancer, but I do I feel like, you know, working in just some, just some ways to just doing some loving things for yourself. Okay. Come on. All right, Cancer. Last little bit here, you got the Six of Wands, and then let's go ahead and switch back over. Because with this Six of Wands, Cancer, you know, the Six of Wands, it's a card of, you know, it's a card of celebration. It's a card of victory. It's a card of, you know, getting to that, getting to that, that, getting to a place of feeling that normalcy again. I won't even say that we're getting, you know, considering how, you know, depending on how this is looking. You know, this could even be just getting towards normalcy. But, you know, the Six of Wands, where it can be, you know, like on, on a traditional Six of Wands, it's like, you know, there's this like, there everyone's like celebrating. They're just like, yeah, look at you, you've made it, blah, 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 blah. And that, that's exciting. And I bring that up to say that like, 
you're going to get to that place, Cancer, but we can't forget that that person that was on that horse that everyone's celebrating, they had a tough journey. You know, they, there were, there were times of gains, there were times of loss and, but it still gets at the end of the day, it still got him. you know, when he persevered, got through this stuff, still led him to let him to 10 of cups, wheel of fortune. He got, th you know, they got through the cycle, you know, they made it through the cave and came out on the other side of, there was light at the end of this tunnel and cancer, <clears throat> You know, I feel like it's remembering that there's there's light at the end of this tunnel, too, but it's just it's just taking those steps one day at a time. And, no, and don't compare yourself to others. Cancer, you know, the healing's going to look differently. And yeah, really, you just think and last thing with this three of cups, you know, Try not to like suffer in silence with this energy. You know, I, I get that, you know, everyone has to deal with these things differently, but if it does get, you know, a little heavy at times, you know, don't, you know, whether that's a profession, this is a medical advice cancer, but whether that's a professional or even just amongst loved ones, friends, just someone you feel okay being vulnerable around, you know, share this stuff. So, all right, cancer, I think I'm going to leave that there. And I do, that was a little, little, little tough there, a little tough reading, but yeah, hopefully that made sense. But, um, yeah, give it a thumbs up, Cancer. If, um, you know, just to show that, you know, that we all go through this. There's, we all go through this cycle at some point, you know, and it's, we all experience and get different. And, you know, if you know someone who might be going through this cancer, you know, share it. Maybe this will kind of help, you know, show that like, hey, we're, yeah, we're going through it right now, but it's not forever. You know, like we can absolutely move to, we're the chariot, you know, something where you got to, yeah, okay, tire fell off. All right, we can deal with this stuff, you know, and I know that's a weird analogy, but we keep it moving, Cancer, because we, we got this. But, um, and then subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell button, you get notified of these videos each day. And then, you know what, um, I'm on this, I'm on, I've been on this meditation app for years. It's helped me through, you know, stuff like this, you know, but, um, Insight Timer. It's a meditation app. I've, uh, I created a group on there called Zodiac Raising the Vibration. And it's just a place to drop like positive affirmation, encouraging messages, anything along those lines. And, you know, if we need just like little pick me ups, cancer, there's already a treasure trove over there for you. So, but again, that's, um, on the app, meditation app, Insight Timer in the, um, the group is called Zodiac's Raising the Vibration. And then the last little bit, you know, check your sun, your moon, your rising, and then come on over and check out my other channel, Alchemist 8. I do weekly videos there, different themes. I got monthly themes, weekly themes. I even started doing like a solar return, which is your birthday theme. But um, yeah, it's a good old time, Cancer. And all that housekeeping down in the description box below. But let me get your surprise card so I can uh, get you out of here and get you doing some, doing some healing, Cancer. Because we got the tower. And with the tower. You know, loss, no matter what the form is. You know, poverty, colla anything collapsing, dismantling. It, 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 it's, it may not feel ideal in that moment in time, Cancer. Like, you know, I get it. But the thing, Cancer... The thing, Cancer, because now we got Mars here. We got the moon in Cancer. And now we got Mars in Cancer, you know, just with this. And we got Cancerian energy. Just be mindful. Be mindful of this, Cancer. This is not meant to keep you down or anything. The tower is meant for us to build on top of this. This is meant to take whatever this loss is and fill that void. You know, what is it that, um, how does that look like, you know? And it's just like, don't feel... <clears throat> Yeah, don't feel, absolutely, don't feel like you can't come back from this thing, that, you know, the tower is just like this, that this tower moment is just trying to keep you down. You know what tower moments are? They're absolutely this. You got the cordyceps card, which is a mushroom, but this is a card of revival. You see this, this eagle rising up from this, from this, this, it's like you got two, these two like little DNA strands and this eagle is rising up. And this is Jupiter. This card is, um, represented by, or ruled by, um, 
Jupiter, Pluto, and Mars. So you got Jupiter and Mars here, and we're going through. And what we're going through right now is Pluto energy, that transformation, that, that metamorphosis, you know? But when you get on the other end of this Cancer, and it's, it's not gonna, I feel like it's gonna be, it, it may not be noticeable at first, but it's, it's gonna be a gradual thing. But when you do, you're gonna be flying strong again. You're gonna be feeling confident. You're gonna be, it's, 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 you're, the healing is happening, so. All right, Cancer, I think I'm going to leave that there. See, I hope that made sense. Um, <clears throat> but stay safe out there, Cancer. And um, I was going to say keep eyes on the moon, but keep eyes on the moon. And if you need a little help, if you need a little help, keep, keep an eyes on the moon with the Cancer. Me, the high priestess, we're going to... We're going to keep, we're going to, this is, I'm trying to think what I'm going to, because normally I have a thing for the other channel, but this is me chilling with you and we're just going to keep eyes on the moon together and we're going to heal through this thing, Cancer. Still working on that, you know, a little awkward with the healing, but I'm going to, I will get you on the next one. Later. <laughs>